this little trick here is a nice way to start off your mix and then you can build everything else around that. Yeah, I it's Casey, welcome back to my channel. So someone hit me up with a request asking me to show how to mix beats. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I start off mixing my beats to get kicks and the bass to sit nicely. And shout out my two new subscribers, Edward Saloka and Rudy Chu. Thank you for subscribing, I appreciate you. I hope you've hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I put up future videos like this one here. This week, my favorite comment coming from Rudy Chu. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for the comment, it means a lot. Let's get into this video. I think about the comment from Rudy Chu and it just made me like think about when I first started making beats and started doing YouTube channel and you know sometimes like it's good to look back and think and, or just to see how far you've come probably about the only times you should look back like I'm happy where I am now and what I've achieved so far but I know that I'm not where I want to be the channel's growing nicely helping you come best at what you do best at making beats best at mixing getting your mindset right so yeah them, them type of comments are I appreciate it I'm grateful for that type of feedback Under the bright, under where I know, where I know, I know, where I know. Where So when I start off my mix, I like to have the 808 and the kick hitting nicely using the vamped meter. So the kick's hitting around 3 dBs and then when I add the 808 in or the bass, it brings up to about 0 dB. But this is after I've gained stage and if you don't know how to gain stage, check out the video on how to gain stage that I've put out. And it will show you how step by step on how to gain stage, all your instruments before you start mixing. But this little trick here is a nice way to start off your mix and then you can build everything else around that. That beat actually turned out right, like it. It's another one I'm gonna go back to, level it up, add some bits in, take some bits out, structure it, make it sound like a proper beat. Hope this video has helped. Hope you got something from the little kicking 808 balance trick that I showed you, so you can start implementing that in your mixes and your beats and stuff. Got any questions, hit me up on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. If you like this video at all, if it helped you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.